Hey YouTube! Today is Friday, September 10, and I just left my dermatologist appointment. So, no makeup on the face today. Good news, I guess. I can put this under my skin cancer playlist. It was my yearly checkup, and I just want to say, uh, please make sure that you see a dermatologist if you have any concerns at all. I was a sunbather growing up and uh, I've had squamous cell removed from my chest twice and on my neck I had the squamous cell and I actually had to undergo some Mo surgery which I documented on my YouTube channel for that as well and a year ago I was diagnosed with actinic ketosis which I went through some chemo treatment for. And I was a little concerned because the reason that I did that is because I was developing some flakiness all over my forehead and down the bridge of my nose. And I continued to think it was dry skin and thus went my reason to start looking into different skin cares and different makeup which I'm very happy to say that I've been really enjoying the Saint Beauty makeup. That's what brought me to that, is trying to find a, either a liquid or a cream-based foundation versus the bare essentials that I always wore. I always wore a powder foundation. So anyway, I have been uh, a little concerned because I've got a little bit of this flakiness that is continuing to come up on the bridge of my nose right here and I sometimes take a little skin razor and shave it off if it gets uh, too patchy. She didn't seem concerned with it. She did tell me to go ahead and use the same treatment but instead of applying it all over my face this time she said um, put it on there twice a day for a week and just on the area there. So I'm going to do that but I'm going to wait until uh, either Thanksgiving or Christmas break so I don't have to worry about having that there and having a band-aid over my nose while I'm at school or whatever anyway that is my update um, just keep putting that sunscreen on keep putting that sunscreen on I've been really really diligent about that this summer I've been in the Sun a lot this summer with all these little trips I've been taking, but um, which is different from last year because I didn't really spend much time in the sun last year. Uh, any tan I had, I spray tanned. Uh, I haven't been spray tanning this year because I've been getting I've been getting tan, but I have been putting my sunscreen on. So the problem is, is I didn't do it when I should have been doing it when I was younger. So for all you younger girls and gals out there who might be watching this video, which I tell my daughter every day, my fair skinned freckle faced daughter, put the sunscreen on. Even when she's at her track meets and that's what, you know, I grew up running track most of my life and all through college and that's where a lot of this sun damage came from. Is so, you know, put the sunscreen on and reapply it often. Uh, so I continue to go made my next year's appointment and unless I see any concerns throughout this year I won't go back for another year but uh, that's my update for that and uh, yeah I think that's it I'm just gonna wrap it up just a quick short little update for this playlist thanks for watching